Hi, tonight I'm going to talk about my 2.2 Pro crawler and what's a little bit unusual about it is that it has a Bully V1 uh, axle. So this is very unusual now. It was already a bit unusual when I built this crawler, um, but I, I stick to it and I think I made it kind of competitive. First of all, this, this build was originally done with kind of this setup in 2013 and it was mainly inspired by two threads on uh, RCC. Uh, they were from Jeremy and Joshua. Those two threads were the most inspiring for sure. For the axles, uh, Jeremy's thread, he had a really nice, basically the same setup as I have now. And Joshua, the wheels and the chassis, the chassis style was inspired by Joshua. I'll put the, the links in the description and if you guys want to have a look, I, said, I still think they have the pictures, they are still there and the threads are, are still there. I think uh, it's better for me to take off the wheels and we can have a look at this. So let's do that. 16 screws later, here we go. I use this uh, these hubs here uh, so they have four screws four screws on each one and on the rear I use these ones so actually the hubs these front ones they are made from shapeways they are my design they are uh, the same as a three, 0.350 VP hub or more or less the same um, and now uh, they have the nuts on the rear. Basically I use these these hubs because I hate the VP stuff or actually not the VP hubs I just don't like the threads that they have those um, inch threads they are horrible and um, the bolts that I get, the aluminium bolts that I got from uh, Fastener Express, they have the X is so small that I, I keep stripping the, the X every time I tighten and loosen the wheel so I had to get rid of that I, uh, and I ended up designing this with the 8mm stub that is actually the original um, format for the bully axle uh, so now I'm running OF and A shafts um, but yeah um, on the rear, talking about the hubs, and we can finish the hubs. The the, the rear hubs they they are actually made on my 3D printer, and I had the same style of hubs on the front with the brass inserts. The problem was as soon as I started adding weight to the front, every time I would fall, the car would fall from from the rocks. They would pull the um, the inserts out. So after some time it was happening more and more because the plastic started to wear out so that became an issue and uh, these ones again home printed uh, my design they are a little bit bigger they don't have the nut and they have some some tape around so the the pin doesn't fall down one thing that I do with this to get more leverage instead of using the, the small pin the X pin uh, to drive this. I don't use a X, but I just use the pin. But to drive this, I cut um, a drill bit, a uh, two, 2 millimeter drill bit, and I run like a peak from side to side. And on this one I don't have um, a way to hold the pin. And they were, they, they are tight, but they were coming loose a little bit, so I decided to just tape it and it's enough. Uh, I have another version of it that I just uh, drill a hole here. I have a hole here on the printout or here and I put a grub screw there and it holds the pin in place, no problem. But yeah, I got lazy. There's not really much need for that. So let's continue on the rear axle now. We can see here, I run this like this here. So this is my cover and it was like super glued together, it's not holding in place. 
anymore and I was having just some duct tape covering that, holding that in place. I don't know, maybe I should do another one of these. Yeah, something that holds a bit better because I don't like to have this on cover or I'll just tape it, probably I'll just tape it. So you see the bully axle, the rear bully axle, the front is more or less the same. I just cut as much as I could without the gears falling down. I even drilled some speed holes. It's it's much faster now with these speed holes. I just left the motor side here and everything else is cut. You can save quite a bit of weight on these. They have uh, original bully shafts uh, and uh, the tubes they are from Deluxe. Eric Deluxe and they have been working great this is a, a great setup the um, upper mount still the original mount I just drill another hole here lower hole and it seems to work better and also the rod ends here it's they they get uh, they wear out really really fast so I have them in the bottom and it seems to work with everything because if I compress the suspension on the upper mount they were just hitting a little bit more okay moving on to the front this is basically well now it's even more deluxe setup so again um, deluxe tail ring tubes I also originally I got the, the deluxe tubes and you could make them work with uh, super bully shafts that you could cut to length and I was running that setup but still I was lacking the steering especially when I was uh, going out with some other friends and they were having all, all of them were XR10 and XR10 had that excellent steering and I didn't so I was getting my ass beaten pretty much on a regular basis so I decided to get in touch with Deluxe and he made kind of a universal set because we didn't have the correct length or he didn't have the correct length so he made kind of a universal a universal set as he does now um, but these was kind of they were they were one off uh, and then I cut them to length and I cut the tank later on so uh, OFNA shafts now this uh, the knuckles I got on a deal recently uh, I was running the original bully uh, knuckles they are of course the um, 8mm stub uh, so th I was running it with this setup and I made a weight holder for, for my um, low weights and I was running that for a long long time but I was having some play that I wanted to get rid of, but actually running the Deluxe uh, Knuckles, it made it well, the same on one side and worse on the other side, because on my right side, on this side, I didn't have any play at all, and now I do, but something I will try to address, I can try and show you what I mean let's see if this stays on camera you see this play here, up and down this is what I wanted to get rid of on the original bully knuckles and it's the same on the other side this was the play that I wanted to get rid of and actually now I have it on the two on two sides uh, I'll try to get that out of the car maybe with some shims I don't know if I'll be able to do it but I don't like this play but yeah it is what it is right now so I got the deal second hand uh, for these let me put this away for these brass knuckles and I made some some of this weight. I'd love to have some tungsten slugs but I don't have the budget for it now and I just run this is about 100 grams per side of lead and I made this little metal plate, I think this is one millimeter uh, steel plate, maybe even less than one millimeter. 
and I'm just running this with my wheels. We'll get to the wheels later. Um, so yeah, the the front gearbox is harder to see, but it's also cut just like the rear, just like I showed you. It has for the the drag link this dent right there, this cut here. It's working. It works really nice. I have good steering angle and yeah it has been strong like this the Dremel did a fantastic work cutting that this is my battery mount I put the battery here I'm, I was running I'm st I still have them I run Gen Z's batteries for quite some time since 2013 when I first built this car and they have been holding more or less okay now they started dying and I'm buying the for 450 milliamp hour uh, turnergy the they are very very small high discharge and so far they they have been really good and very light so they fit this mount even better than the chainsaws i don't have one laying around here uh, right now so in the bottom this is what i have uh, I have this kit, I always like this idea of having a skid here. Actually this is a two-piece. This one here, it's, it has this bolt and then it's just double-sided tape on the servo uh, and here. This one I replaced more or less recently, last year at least. Um, before that I ran it since I originally built this car. This one is still the original one. It goes from the let me get my key. This mount there and another bolt there. I don't know if you can catch it. Um, so this just goes on the on the gearbox and it allows me to mount my electronics and it's very well protected. It has been lasting for a long long time. Um, the rear, I just kind of do the same. I just put this kit here because I like the idea of not having a rock stuck between the motor and the uh, axle. You can see the gears, the gears on the bully, they are massive, they are 6 millimeters wide. I don't know if you can catch that. I'll try my best. They are about, they are 6 millimeters wide, but you see here, they have been machined down, all of them, on the rear, they are in the center, here, they are machined to 2 millimeters uh, thick, so from 6 we pass to 2 millimeters thick, on the three gears inside the gearbox, and in the front, I was a little bit more conservative, let's say, I just cut it to half, so it's 3, limi three millimeters on the center of the gears, they have been machined down. So the boxes are cut like I showed you before and also here you can see how everything has been machined away all the aluminium that I could take off I did this was done by hand on the Dremel this huge diff, well, locker gear ball whatever you want to call that this just hangs up on the rocks too much this is by far the biggest downfall of these axles now I've seen some options done and I thought about it you have the bottom gear the, the last gear just sits on this side here so eventually you could cut all that to half but then you end up with a, a very sharp edge and I don't know how how much I would gain from that like this this is nice and even and round and kind of slippery so I don't really want to cut all this and then just have a sharp edge running down this so I kind of just leave with it to run these weights I have my own wheels these are my design of wheels uh, carbon fiber face on this on this uh, one but the main feature on this is that they are hollow wheels. I don't know if you can catch that up. 
there is a thread on RCC talking about this. I've had I've had this project for a lot of years. It took me maybe one and a half year to make the first prototype, uh, and then I don't know a few months more to make this this set here, and it has been working for I don't know uh, two years now maybe, and. I still didn't break them, I've been taking them apart and putting them back together and they still hold up great. Uh, you have to do a minor cut, let me see, a minor cut on the tire, on the tire bed. These are true bed locks, you don't, they are not glue ones because I don't like glue ones. I like glue ones as much as I like inch uh, bolts, so I try to avoid them as much as possible. Uh, so yeah, these are these are still uh, uh, bead locks, um, and you can still mount these tires because the cut is so small. You have to do four small cuts like this on each side. You can still mount them up on um, on a normal wheel, and they still hold the bead perfectly. Um, as far as foam setup, I think uh, uh, this totally replaces. Like a six six inch tall, uh, six inch uh, crawler innovations inner foam, so it's big, big space inside, and I think I just run uh, soft outer foam. I think it's soft, maybe medium, not one hundred percent sure. And uh, tuning ring, I think it's soft, soft, or soft medium. I'm not one hundred percent sure, or medium soft. Not so sure on my phone setup at the moment. And on the sides, I cut from some old foams here to cover this, this side of the tire. I uh, think maybe you can see the different colors there. So this one is one foam and that one is a Crawler Innovation Zone. I just cut a, a ring, like a tuning ring from Crawler, Crawler Innovation. Just cut the tuning ring to put it on the side so it was not so hard. And it has been working great with with this with the weight and the wheels as they are the low center of gravity. I mean, it's really a good, good, good setup. Very stable setup. My rear wheels they are nothing special. Just some wheels that I also designed. They are run. I run them reverse because the rear axle is is shorter, much shorter than the front. Yeah, and they are both of them. They are about one inch, one inch wide wheels. Yeah, blue on the rear, silver in the front. And basically, these are my axles and wheels setup. I'll talk about the rest of the car on another video. Cheers.